Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News. Giants are back in the office today, so that means news is back and so is the testing list. Some of the news we'll be going over today. We'll be going over an update on how Welker's Farm is doing and also an update on Case Aries Modding's Case Trident is doing, which if you're on PC, you can actually get right now. Remember, if you guys do like the video, to smash that like button. If you're watching this as a premiere, let's go for 50 likes to start the week off. Now, if you're watching this after, let's go for 300. We'll probably want to get to that news. Roll that intro. Let's go. Walking back. Okay, so let's get to that first piece of news for today. The first piece of news is from Mapper's Paradise and about their Welker's Farm. Everybody's been wondering, where is Welker's Farm and how close is it to being done? Well, he is almost finished. He had the PDA work to do and some XMLs. He said probably going to be uploading it either today or tomorrow. So expect to see that on the testing list very soon. Okay, now onto that second piece of news for today, and that is from EY Modding. If you guys have been using the Fur M66, you guys will notice something. There is no compatible corn header for that, but he will be creating a 100% compatible corn header for the Fur M66. Also, if you found any issues with the Fur M66 mod, you can specifically write to him on his Facebook page at EY Modding. Also note, the corn header in the image is just a representation. What he will actually do may not look like that right there. Then after that one, we have some news from Oxygen Day, but pretty much just a comparison, really. Of course, everybody knows that he is now working on his next new map, Court Farms. Well, here is one of the farms on here. As you guys can see, the Stonebridge farm in the Google Earth with the 3D terrain and detail and the in-game version of the farm he has created. I actually think the farm that he has actually created looks a lot better. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Okay, then after that one, we have some news from Connect Modding. Of course, on June 11th, they'll be coming out with another new pack. Remember, this is the same creators that made the Jan pack. Well, they have another one coming out, and this is the Pecan Catalog. Of course, we have already heard about the Master 1500, the Mod BT11. Well, they announced their third one out of five now. And this one right here is the GSPCR34 Discos. It is $42,000. This is a plow. 6.4 working meters it does require 476 horsepower remember this comes out of course june 11th after that one we have some news from ja modding about his case fast riser 6100 which i've been waiting for right here but here is some news on it he had this to say hello friends we are very busy and we are doing our best to finish and send it for testing we are now adjusting the details of the planting line cover animations, sounds, and hoses that are missing. After that, the model will be finished as soon as possible. So expect that to be coming out probably at the end of this month at the earliest. Okay, let's get to that last piece of news for today, and that is an update on Case Aries Modding's upcoming mods and updates he's been working on. If you're on PC, it is gonna be a very good day because he has actually released his Case Trident Combinator Applicator. If you guys go to the link in the description, it is the King Mods. You guys are gonna head over there and download it right now. Also, this mod might be released this week for all platforms, so that's gonna be very exciting if it does. Next one we have is the Axle Flow series. This combine has been sent to Giants with an important update. So the change log on that one. Fixed two-wheel drive axle problems, fixed different shades of red, fixed moving parts, added yield monitor, added lizard tires and new sounds on that one. And then the last one, the Case IH 8900 Magnum series, another mod from FS19 with tons of new configurations, completely different from what it was. So that is all of the news we have for today. Let's go over that testing list. Okay, so here we go with the first test and list for this week. I believe the last one we had what was probably last Wednesday. But anyway, some of the notable mods we have on here. Let's see, we have the ACS Weight Pack, uh, Big Chicken Barn, Big Bags Cattle Pack. Ooh, the Case W20E. I remember that in FS19. Uh, the Class Corto 290FN, uh, Karina Slurry Tank. We have the European Countryside, uh, the Fiat X70 Series. Um, if we go down a little bit more, we have the IMT plows. Ooh, the big one right there, the Kubota grassland equipment. This is from Iconic Upgrades. Hopefully this does pass. That would be kind of funny if this actually passes before the Kubota DLC comes out. Uh, we got a bunch of lizards right there, as you see. The Matri Old Trailer Pack. Uh, Mossy Ferguson 8S. Uh, let's see, the R3 Harvest Profit. 
Uh, Shire Farm is still in testing. Hopefully that update comes out very soon. And a big one right there, Westbridge Hills 22. So that pretty much is the notable mods that are for PC testing right now. And like I always say, guys, remember, these could all go to console too. Remember, they have to go through PC testing first and then to console testing. All right, let's see what's in console testing real quick. Uh, let's see, we got Osada. Uh, we got the Homestead Pig Barn. The Isra Scout Larger Ranges. Hopefully that does pass very soon. That'll be definitely very helpful for precision farming. Uh, we got the Mato, but I'll probably just butcher that name map. Ooh, the Vintage Auger Pack. So it looks like that's going to be getting an update from BC Bueller. Hopefully his uh, his grain silos come out very soon. But anyways, number of mods we'll be testing is 302 mods. So we're still over that 300 mark. And current as you time, guys, is six working days. Well, that right there was the news for today. A lot of good news, plus that testing list is back. Now, today's schedule, no live streams till tomorrow. If we do get some mods, there will be a video on them later on today. Remember, if you guys did enjoy the video, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Stop.